What's going on, fellas? It's Cager, and I am back for another video on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. That's what we know the name is now, so I will no longer be referring to it as Smash Switch. Um, I might still refer to it as Smash 5 every now and then, because that also is what the game is, but uh, the official name is Smash Ultimate, so we can start talking about it that way. And looking at the roster, holy crap, guys, there are a lot of characters in this game. Now, I previously did a video on which characters I thought would return, and that video turned out to be wrong, <laughs> because all of them are returning. Um, I didn't say that any of them would definitely not reappear, although I was doubtful on quite a few of the characters, and it turns out that I was wrong. All of the characters are returning. So if you take Smash 4's roster, that had 58 characters, and now let's take a look at the characters that are making a return in Smash 5. Uh, we have all the Smash 4 characters plus Pichu, Young Link, Snake, Wolf, Ice Climbers, and Squirtle and Ivy. So I'm going to count them as separate characters uh, because in these, they're three different versions and they're in the same slot, but they're three characters. I know it's a little bit different because it's transforming, but for the sake of this video, we're counting all three of the Pokemon Trainers Pokemon as separate Pokemon. Um, so that leads us with 58. 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 66 characters, plus Ridley, who was revealed today, plus Daisy. So, what is that, 68 characters, guys? We have a ton, an absolute ton of characters coming now. 68 characters in the starting roster. Um, and this could be more, because there might be future reveals down the line. Uh, Sakurai stated that we shouldn't expect for too many but Smash Forward 18 newcomers, so if he's saying that there might be less, I don't think that means there's only going to be just the Inkling and Ridley added. Um, that might mean we get m something more along the lines of 5. Maybe we'll see another reveal today, um, later on in either the Treehouse or the Tournament. I wouldn't say that's too likely, but I think we could get up to 3 more character reveals leading up to the release of the game. Uh, so I think that's something to look forward to. I can't believe it, guys. There's going to be 70. Basically, like, there's there's probably going to be at least two more characters revealed. That means we'll have a starting roster of around 70 characters. That is just insane. Um, I can't believe it. There's so many, and they're working hard to differentiate the movesets. We still have a few clones, obviously, because the returning characters. But they're in a separate category, Echo characters. Now, I wonder if that's going to work. They didn't really go in depth on how that's going to appear on the character roster. If it'll be, like, selecting an alternate costume or something, which it might be. I'm really not sure, we'll have to wait and see for that one, uh, because so far in the Treehouse event, they didn't have any of those characters in the showcase, but I'm really looking forward to that, and I hope you guys are too. Uh, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below, and if you haven't already, why don't you hit subscribe, because I'm going to be posting a lot more videos about Smash, I'm going to be talking a lot about it, dissecting all of the trailers that we have, and figuring out more about this game in the future. So, subscribe, ring the bell if you want to stay notified, YouTube sub boxes have been quite weird recently, or you could also join my Discord, because I'll be talking a lot there. You could talk to me and stay updated on all my content in that chat. A link will be in the description. So, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. This is Gager, and I'll see you in the next one.